Hi, I'm Stephanie Ratcliffe, Executive Director of the Wild Center. Chris Rosanek, our Director of Facilities, and I drove down to Schenectady today to check on the status of our boiler. We're here today with David Dungate. He is with Advanced Climate Technology, the manufacturers of our boiler. Hi, Dave. Hi, Stephanie. So, Dave, tell us a little bit about your company. We were formed a couple of years ago. We located here in Schenectady because this is just at the base of the Adirondacks. New York, NYSERDA has a very aggressive program to encourage renewable energy, and we think New York is a great place to start a bioenergy heating business. So tell us more about what you manufacture. What we manufacture is commercial scale wood chip and wood pellet boiler systems. Our systems are designed to heat schools, hotels, hospitals. In North America, most of the systems to date have been focused on residential wood boilers or big industrial wood boilers, but we saw a great opportunity right in the middle there for those small facilities that needed a highly automated, clean burning system that would burn wood fuel, which was a renewable energy source and can cost significantly less than fossil fuels. So David, I understand you're actually working on our boiler today. Yes, we are. It's, we've started construction. It's moving along well. And we've actually got uh, a fully completed model, too, that we can show you. Oh, great. I'd love to see it. So, Dave, this is really exciting. This is our boiler. This is your boiler. It's about, we've been working on it about less than a week now. We've got a few more days to go, but it's coming together nicely. Oh, wow. So, like, in the whole production process, about what percent is it done right now? Well. In terms of time and effort, this is really the heart of the boiler. This is what they call a pressure vessel where the hot water flows. And that's the main piece of value that we add here. You know, other than that, the jacket, some of the controls will bring in, but this is what the real value and the specialty of our, what we produce here. I call it the heart of the boiler because this is where the hot gases from combustion transfer their heat to the water needed to heat the building. And this is where most of the work takes place. The welding is a very robust, thick steel here that's made to make sure the boiler will last a long time and provide high efficiency heat. So how thick is that steel that they're welding there? This is 3 8 inch steel. And all American steel? All American, yeah. Oh, great. David, I want to understand more about how this really works. You've talked about how it's clean burning, and these are the parts that make that happen. So walk me through what these are and what they do during the process. Sure. You have to imagine this is the combustion chamber here around this burn plate. The fuel is fed through this channel here and comes up and out. We start to gasify the fuel right at this level here. And this is the first zone of air introduction. So these holes, air is coming Air's out? Air is coming out of these holes. The, uh, at this stage, the fuel's passing over this zone, the volatile gases, the fuel's heated and the gases come off. And those gases are carbon monoxide, and uh, so there's some tars and creosotes, things like that. Things that in a regular furnace just go up the stack because they have one zone of air. But what we do after that is on top, we have these secondary and tertiary zones. And this chamber will fit right pretty much above. Those gases come up, they get hit by the side by air, and that creates a swirling sort of cyclone and you get complete burnout of those tars, creosotes, carbon monoxide. There's three separate fans, one for each zone, and those are adjusting based on what we measure on the back end of the system the oxygen level is. David, this looks interesting. Is this a part of our boiler? This is the heat exchanger portion with the two plates here. What you'll get is these plates will have tubes, those tubes, one inserted through each and then welded in place. And what will happen is that's where the hot gases come through. The water will surround the tubes and that's how you get the heat transfer. Do you have this here in your uh, factory assembled that we can look at somewhere? Right over here. David, this unit is a bit smaller than the one we'll be receiving? Yes, it is. In, in your unit, it's, uh, this is a 1.1 million BTU boiler. 
you were receiving a 1.7 million BTU boiler, and to do that, we add an extra three rows of tubes to have more heat recovery surface. So slightly um, a third larger then? It'll be about a third larger, yeah. We hydraulically test it, meaning we put water under pressure on there to make sure there's no leaks. And, uh, and that's where all the, you get the uh, heat exchange through these tubes. And this is certified to American standards? Yeah, this is an ASME pressure vessel, which means American Society of Mechanical Engineers. They come in and, and they will officially observe the testing and make sure that the performance of the boiler meets the standard. David, many people today have wood boilers, wood stoves. There's outside wood boilers in existence. What makes this technology different? Well, mainly it's the level of controls, how we control the dosing of the fuel, we control the airflow within the system to make the combustion complete. We extract the heat very efficiently by having a lot of surface contact between hot gases and the water surface in the boiler and that means high efficiency and also low emissions because everything that was in the fuel has been completely combusted. The boiler is delivered in two pieces, the, the burner and heat exchanger portion and we bolt those two together with the pipes that you see on the side. The water flow through the boiler actually comes in, it's forced down, around, back up, down, around, and out the backside. So you've got a lot of mixing. There's no shortcut of the water just wanting to cut through. We make it go through a full, a circuitous path so that you extract the maximum heat from the gases. So this looks familiar, David. What are we looking at here? Well, this is similar to the Wild Sender. This is an integrated unit that combines solar hot water with a pellet boiler, but this is a residential scale unit. We have the pellet boiler inside this section, and actually on the far side there is the chip store or the wood pellet storage. So it combines the best of when there's sun, heat from the sun, you can take that hot water in, preheat your water, and then when you have when you need the additional load, you have the pellet boiler there to provide that additional heat. So a unit like this could sit adjacent to a typical home and have this finished appearance to it with the siding. Yeah, this one is a package unit. The idea is you can deliver it on site and everything's there, plug and play, ready to go. These ones aren't currently available in the U.S. yet. This is a model that came from Europe, but uh, we see in the future that this kind of residential unit will be available here. Hi, we're back at the Wild Center after our tour of ACT where they were making our boiler. Chris, tell us what's going on now. Well, as you can see, we're standing in front of this large excavation. It's about six feet deep, and this is where a pellet storage vessel is going to be located. We're down that deep because we're required to go about six feet below grade here to make sure that we're well below possible frost depth penetration here in the North Country. With our severe climates, the frost can get down pretty deep and wreak havoc on foundations. So that's the reason we're down so deep. The crushed stone that you see here will serve as the bedding for the grade beams that are behind us. And those are the, uh, those are the structures that the pellet storage vessel will actually be sitting on when it arrives next week. So again, the pellet vessel will be above ground. This is just simply a foundation. It just needs to be deep because we're in the Adirondacks. That's correct, Stephanie. As you can see, there's lots going on with this project here at the Wild Center. We're so excited about it. Um, we can't wait to have all the bits and pieces and parts together so we can uh, turn this on and heat us this winter. So we'll bring you a more update as things progress.